up Sagittarius. Finally. Finally. Sagittarius. Alright, guys, I'm sorry this is taking so long to, for me to get to fire signs. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, these are general readings. They are not going to resonate with every single person out there. It's just not possible. The only way to get it to resonate with your specific situation and your energy is to get a personal reading and those are still in the works guys it takes a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of energy um another thing i want to address is the negative ass haters don't like me don't like the way i read fuck off go somewhere else okay not you specifically sagittarius just had it with people like you guys have shown a tremendous amount of love like and I really appreciate it oh okay so there may be something you're working on working hard at working working towards so watch if your moon Sun or rising is in Sagittarius these are not going to resonate with everyone and these energies can play out until the 31st or even exceed the 31st so <laughs> why, why dislike it if you, if you, are you do you know it's gonna happen after the 31st so I do recommend like waiting and watching like some people do a lot of people do wait and I feel sorry you guys are last so I'm like taking all my shit out on you so don't take it personally Sagittarius Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. There may be, I already kind of know what's going on, guys. Uh, there may be, like, some depression going on or something to do with family. There could even be some illnesses. Um, or this could be something that you know, isn't being shown to you, like the light isn't being shown on it for you to see. See what's on the bottom. Yeah, you do have stability here. Happy home here. Like you're coming to realization, coming to the realization, not not being a victim anymore, not putting yourselves in that victim mentality and do, building yourself a home like putting all your strength time and energy into building something for yourselves this could be a home you know not being a victim anymore getting out of this like depressive state and boom here is stability commitments marriages celebrations okay could have dealt with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I'm seeing right now. That's wanted to, that wanted to come out for you guys for some reason. So let's see. Sagittarius and, and love from now until January 31st. Oh, damn, guys. Okay, so... Yeah, somebody is definitely coming to realization. You guys aren't playing no victim. Your your fire. My oldest daughter daughter is a Sag and mm, no games. So somebody's coming out of a situation, seeing seeing it for what it is, putting in a lot of hard work, a lot of time into something. But there's still this emotional sadness here going on. Somebody is focusing on something they've lost here. There's a loss, there's grief, there's regret, there's remorse. Okay, whether this be you or someone else you're dealing with. It could also be a Taurus, alright? This could be happening within a marriage, okay? Or a higher level of commitment here. Maybe someone's making a decision to... Ugh, about a marriage or a higher level of commitment. So let's see. No more cards falling out, spirit. Yes, orbs and weird ass shit flies around in my videos. I don't know why I attract that. And excuse me, because I'm still sick. I know there was.
there's one comment. Oh, your reading's great except the snorting. Well, I can't help it. I'm sick. Sorry. Alright, Sagittarius from now until January 31st. Fuck. Sagittarius from now until January 31st in love. I did see emotional fulfillment, guys. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. One more. Boom. Let's do this. Alright, overall energy. Three of Pentacles. Jam. Aries just got this. You may be involved with another fire sign. Or it was Leo. So, this is all about effort, teamwork, building on something. This could be work related as well. Building on a project. But, regarding love, you know, building... Okay, wanting attention, someone wanting attention. I'm going to lay the cards down and I'm going to say someone. I know it's going to piss some people off because it could be your energy. It could be your ex. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could be your mother. It could be your sister. Family does come up in love readings, okay? Work as well. Money, too. I can't help it. I don't control it. I don't know why, so I'm going to say someone. And you guys can put the pieces together. Personal reading would tell you exactly what's going on with your energy. So, want, someone could be wanting attention, wanting to build on a relationship, okay? The only thing that bothers me here is that there's three, you know, three pentacles. So that could mean that there's somebody else involved. Doesn't necessarily mean that. There is a, a relationship here, though, okay? Very well could be with another fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. Okay, but there's some some type of loss or grief or regret or remorse. Like, and maybe somebody's not building on a relationship right now. Okay? We go either way. So, present energy right now for Sagittarius. Boom. Four of Wands. Damn, guys. So, commitment. Stable home. Marriages. Celebrations. Parties. Get-togethers. Focusing on family. Manifesting what it is you want to manifest. Creating what it is you want to create. So, thoughts and concerns for Sagittarius. Again, we have the sun reversed. Could be dealing with a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. It doesn't have to be. But, see, this could be, some again, some type of depression. This could be health issues. This could be, you know, something that the light isn't being shown on. You know, maybe there's a little bit of depression here if you're not dealing with a Leo. So, we'll see. We'll clarify why it's all happening we have the Ten of Swords reversed. So you guys were very hurt. Very, very hurt. If it wasn't you, it was somebody else. And you're letting that pain go. You're recovering from this pain, letting it go. So ultimately, somebody was really betrayed here. Backstab, betrayed, done. It's done and over with, and you guys are healing from it. So in the past for Sagittarius, yeah, we have the Star reversed. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but somebody was definitely losing hope and faith in the past. But boom. Home now. So what's crossing Sagittarius? What's holding you back or what's influencing you negatively or positively? We've got the Son of Wands reversed. So this is kind of like the Knight of Wands reversed. There may be somebody that makes promises to you that they don't keep, okay? An energy that you cannot count on. It very well could be another fire sign, sun, moon, or rising, okay? Or somebody that's taking on this energy, kind of like a one-night stand type energy. This could be holding you back. You know, maybe you don't want this one-night stand shit. Maybe you're into that, you know, whatever you're into. I don't judge. So going into, sorry, I keep doing that because I'm sick. So going into the near future, this is a prediction. This could play out until the 31st or it could exceed the 31st. Justice, karma. There is a fair, balanced decision that somebody needs to make. You know, this card asks you 
what what is good and what is bad in your life what do you need what do you need to make a decision about that's no longer serving you karma here karma making a fair balanced decision for everybody involved this could be legal cases for some of you we'll clarify we'll figure out what it is but it's upright it's in your favor guys so other current circumstances for Sagittarius we have judgment so this may be resurrecting the past past someone could want a second chance with you you may want a second chance with somebody else this is also a time for someone to you know admit their judgments admit their criticisms admit their wrongdoings kind of like a rebirth transformation a second chance from the from the universe you know, whether this be you or somebody else, like being forgiven for what somebody has done. In a love reading, I usually look at it as, you know, somebody wanting a second chance, whether it be you or whoever you're dealing with. So, external to Sagittarius, we have the Daughter of Swords. Okay. So, You've got some, Sagittarius, you've got some, mm -hmm. this is just what I, I wish I remembered the video that I watched because this is the same shit, okay? External to you guys, you guys have someone stalking, okay? Someone keeping tabs on you, alright? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, I forget who put out the video, the message for you guys, but I'm going to find it and I'm going to post it in the description box below because it was especially for you guys and what is going on with you guys. This tarot reader had people calling her, asking her how to get you guys, specifically Sagittarius, how to get you guys back or how to get revenge on you guys. You guys need to be careful, okay? Be careful. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but it could be any sign doing this to you, okay? Be very, very, very careful. This is somebody who's very judgmental. Mm. Okay. Daughter of Swords reversed. Yeah, stalker. Stalker straight up. So be very careful, guys. Watcher. Watcher, watcher, watcher. I'm going to try to find that video for you guys. So in your thoughts, you're coming out of this, okay? You're finally seeing things for what it is, okay? You're seeing things clearly. You're not feeling like a victim anymore. You're not feeling trapped. You're getting out of this energy. So outcome for you guys is the Father of Pentacles reversed. Oh, shit. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Capricorn's reading was not so good, okay? This person is not trustworthy, not grounded, not somebody that you want to invest with in a relationship, okay? This very well could be this person. Keeping tabs. Shit. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you guys, you... Uh, got a lot of people here, okay? You've got an earth sign that does not want to invest. Somebody who's very greedy. Be careful. And then you've got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here that maybe wants to communicate or make a decision. And then you've got some passionate energy here, okay? Second chance or a new beginning with someone. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Alright, let's clarify. Why is the star reversed in the past for Sagittarius from now until... Thank you, Spirit. Okay, definitely could have been dealing with a Leo, but you guys have got strength here. So strength is definitely pushing you forward. We've got the Mother of Wands reversed. And 
and the Four of Swords. It looks like you guys, I want to say your energy was drained in the past, okay? Definitely needed to take a break. Like, you were doing a lot of stuff, but you had the strength to get through it. Like, you couldn't take a break because you were losing hope and faith in something. Maybe a home situation. Okay. Could have been dealing with another fire sign who was very nasty. But there was emotional fulfillment in the past, okay? There was a happy home. But somebody was losing faith in that. I'm seeing Leo... Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Again, it could be any sign, sun, moon, or rising. Let's see. Let's get one more card. Why is the star reversed for Sagittarius from now until January 31st in love? Spirit. Why is the... Okay. Very well could have been an Aries. Or somebody who's very controlling, narcissistic, that you lost hope and faith in. Somebody that doesn't, that lacks control here. They're not a good person. Yeah, it was emotionally fulfilling here. It could have also been a Scorpio. Alright. Okay, some of you guys may, uh, if you're not dealing with a Scorpio. In the past, there may have been you know, long nights, staying up at night, not able to sleep, having anxiety, worrying, okay, worrying about something that needed to end. So let's not clarify the past too much because that doesn't matter. What matters is the future. Yeah, you guys have the strength to get through it. Boom. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. Emotional fulfillment, guys. Ten of Cups. I told you I saw it. Oh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to be going in your favor. Fate. Destiny. The wheel is turning. The universe is moving in your favor. Happiness. Okay? But it all comes down to taking that risk. Taking that leap of faith. You guys not may not be ready to, okay? Some of you may be. It all depends on your story. So let's see. Why is the Four of Wands here for the current energy for Sagittarius? Why is the Four of Wands here? The current energy for Sagittarius. Okay, so there's definitely a decision that needs to be made about some news that you're getting. Some quick, fast communication. Could be internet, over the internet, texting, phone call, anything. Quick, fast communication, you need to make a decision. It could be regarding a home, a celebration, a marriage even. Wow, guys, a commitment. But, maybe, hmm, yeah, you guys have got a decision to make. You may be looking um, for advice from someone else. Maybe not having the money to do this. That's what I'm seeing. May not be the story for all of you. Again, there's quick, fast communication coming in. It could be job-related where you have to make a decision. And it helps improve what you have here. But why am I seeing the Ace of Pentacles reversed? So maybe you made a quick, fast decision regarding some type of commitment, regarding your home... Regarding family, could have been moving as well, moving to a different location, moving to a different home that you made very quickly, okay? So, we've got this person, one night stand type energy, either holding you back or pushing you forward, however it resonates with you. Um, this is somebody, if it's not a fire sign, somebody that makes promises and they don't, they don't follow through with them. Somebody who's in and out of your life or you're in and out of their life. So let's see why, why is the Son of Wands crossing Leo, uh, Sagittarius? Yeah, it could be a Leo. Why is the Son of Wands crossing Sagittarius from now until January 31st? Why is the Son of Wands reversed 
for Sagittarius spirit from now until not gonna take those guys didn't feel right why is the son of wands crossing passionate new beginning here that you guys may not want to invest in definitely fire energy aries leo sagittarius maybe you don't want to commit to someone it could also be a gemini libra aquarius there may be a decision that you have to make here whether or not you want to build on this partnership here could be a gemini libra aquarius or another fire sign but somebody's definitely feeling regret and remorse over some type of connection Some type of soulmate connection or friendship or whatever it may be for you. So let's see. Could have been a friendship as well. So let's see why this is here. Healing from betrayal. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed for Sagittarius from now until January 31st? Why is the Ten of Swords re Wow. Why is the Ten of Thank you. Okay, there was, it was not an equal give and take such yeah, it was a toxic situation. It was not an equal give and take situation. It wasn't a balanced situation. It was something that left you stuck. Stuck, like you couldn't go anywhere. It was toxic, very toxic, whether it be a toxic relationship, emotional abuse, physical abuse, drug addictions, codependent relationship alcohol abuse, anything, toxic relationship even, whatever it was, okay, it wasn't equal, it wasn't balanced, and it kept you stuck, and ultimately there was betrayal here, and somebody is healing from this, somebody is moving on from this, could have been a Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, But it's like somebody may be avoiding some type of victory or some type of truth here or clarity or getting some type of communication. Could be from an Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Interesting, guys. I'm not going to go too deep. So let's see why the Justice card is here. A.K.A. Karma. Why is the Justice card here going into the near future for Sagittarius? From now until January 31st in love. Why is the Justice card here? Boom. Okay, so someone's letting go. Someone's going to be making a decision, letting go. So whatever something somebody's holding on tight to, whether it be you or whoever you're dealing with, Somebody's going to be releasing that and manifesting what it is they want, guys. Manifesting shit. Using the resources that you have to make things happen. This very well could be court cases for some of you. If you're talking to an Aries, um, an Aries, yeah, Aries here, Libra. Okay, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you're communicating with one, they're not being truthful. Okay. Oh, man. There's going to be some type of victory with communication, though. Possibly an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Specifically, Gemini, Aries, Libra. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. So you guys are going to have the ability to manifest whatever it is you want to manifest. If there's court cases, it's going to be going in your favor. Somebody is going to be let go of or something's going to come out here. Whatever it may be. Or somebody's going to drop someone, let go of someone. It could be any sign. So let's see why judgment is here for other situations for Sagittarius. Why is judgment here for Sagittarius from now until January 31st? 
Why is judgment here for Sagittarius? Yeah, he's got a second second chance here as well. Okay, but you, you're you coming to reality about it. This person may have many different options within love. They may be a bullshitter, okay? You're coming to reality about it. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing, you're seeing it for what it is, okay? Or somebody is here. Yeah, see, somebody's not going to be fighting for it because somebody's still focused on what they lost here. What they lost could have been with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, any sign, but that's what I'm seeing. This is friggin' interesting. Why? Somebody's seeing the light here. Maybe it's like a big wake-up call, a big judgment call. Like, boom, I finally see the light here. I know what I need to do. That could be it as well. That definitely could be it. So, this stalker. Let's see if it's an air sign or who the hell it is. God, it could be anybody, you guys. Be very careful. Why is the Daughter of Swords reversed for Sagittarius? Oh my god. Okay, so this person is holding on to heartbreak, okay? If there's any other third-party situations, it may be somebody that's l still lurking, okay? Somebody that's holding on to pain, holding on to pain. They're not, they're not moving forward, they're not healing, they're spying on you, okay? They're not, see, they're not taking a break, not taking a break. You may have had emotional fulfillment with them in the past. I'm seeing another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius as well, guys. Oh, man, okay. Three, why is the three of swords here external? This could have been a third party situation. Why is the three of swords here? Yeah, see, somebody's sneaking around, you, got, you guys. I need to find that video for you guys and post it underneath. I don't know if she'll be okay with that. Frick, I can't remember her name. But, uh, this could be somebody that cheated on you. That, it could be anybody, okay? Anybody that did some sly shit. Somebody was cheating, sneaking around, lying, or stealing from somebody here. Definitely could have been cheating, okay? Somebody's keeping tabs on you, Sagittarius. They're, they're, I swear they're plotting some shit. Yeah, see, they're working hard to plot some shit. They're working hard to go nowhere. Nowhere here. They've got cloudy judgment. Could also be a Cancer. Pisces. God, it could be any sign, you guys. It's somebody that's definitely feeling lost and rejection here. Holding on to pain. They can't let it go. And be very careful, you guys. Very careful, especially with your money here. But I think you guys know. You know. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed in Sagittarius's hopes and fears? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed? Literally, guys, in your hopes and fears, now that, now that I think about it, this could be somebody getting out of jail. Like, somebody may be in jail if it's that serious, if you literally have a stalker. This is only for some of you, okay? It's not going to resonate with everyone. There's so many different scenarios. So, if you do have a stalker, this could be literally fearing somebody getting out of jail here. But you're hoping, boom, hoping for a ten of pentacles here. Money. Money. You know what you need to do here. You may see there may be a vision you have and you're acting on it, okay? You're making a decision to act on it. Could also be a Virgo in your thoughts as well. That may be leaning on you for support or you're leaning on them for support. 
Oh my god, Cancer and, and Pisces as well. Good lord. Yeah, you guys, I think you guys know. Coming to realization about your money, about stability, about your goals, about get, reaching your goals here. About family, about who you can and can't trust. what I'm picking up on. Let's see why the Father of Pentacles is reversed. Why is the Father of Pentacles reversed for Sagittarius from now until January 31st? Why is the Father of Pentacles reversed for Sagittarius? Mm. So this is... Uh, the, um, there's going to be some pain. There's going to be some regret and remorse, whether you're feeling it or whether this earth sign, sun, moon, or rising is feeling it. Okay. Be careful of an earth sign, you guys. Oh, yeah. Be careful of an earth sign. Emotional unfulfill unfulfillment. Your dream's not coming true. Could also be a Scorpio. See... It may be something ongoing, okay? Whatever's keeping you up at night, whatever whatever is bothering you, keeping you up at night, not able to sleep, having anxiety, worrying, whatever shit's not ending, whatever you're thinking, psychically, intuitively, trust it, okay? Trust it. There's something that needs to end that's not emotionally fulfilling with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here with the Father of Pentacles reversed? See, this is someone you can't trust, and it may end up in... But it's my it's minor. It, but, but it could be, like... Why is the Father of Pentacles here with the Five of Cups reversed? You know, there could be some disappointment with this person, because they're not... They're not investing in a relationship. They're not trustworthy. Whether they're a friend or a lover or whatever. Okay, so somebody could be making a decision about a Virgo. Here. Maybe dropping a Virgo. Not moving forward with them. Or Pisces here as well, guys. See, you guys need to trust your intuition. Trust it. This could be a Pisces, but you guys need to trust your intuition and move forward. Move forward. It could be a Cancer as well. God, it could be any, any sign. So, let me think about this for a minute, guys. So someone may be making a decision to drop somebody. It could be a Virgo. After somebody goes within isolation to find the answers. And someone literally may focus on their work. Or it could be a Virgo here. Oh, let me check out this. Why is the hermit reversed? Yeah, they can't move on. They can't move on. They're all about conflict. Yeah, it's like defeat with them. Like they're not they're not good with their words. Like they can't move on, but they want to come out of conflict here. There we go again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, you can't trust them. Definitely needs to be a decision made about them, you guys. See whether or not they want to build on this relationship. Put in work. Because there is a two of cups here with you guys or another fire sign as well. The 
this could also be family. Check out the sun. Why is this, the sun reversed in Sagittarius' thoughts and concerns? If it's not a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. Why is the sun reversed for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, and rising. Again, it's an earth sign, you guys. There is either something you're not seeing about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's in the dark. Or this person is causing you to feel depressed. Or you're involved with a family situation with this person. You can't you can't trust this person. You know you know this. You know it's in your thoughts and concerns. You know. You know that there's a decision you have to make about whether or not you want to work on this partnership. And boom, you have the strength to do it. Again, we have um Leo. You have the strength to do it. But be careful. Could be the father of your children as well. Like they're losing control, okay? They may be See, nasty person again. But there is this two of cups. Let's let me check the why is this two of cups here for Sagittarius? See, somebody's not gonna be standing their ground and fighting for this relationship with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn guys. I keep getting it over and over. There's not gonna be emotional fulfillment here, even though somebody can't let it go. Scorpio as well. Ultimately, somebody needs to let go of this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically Capricorn and Virgo. It could be any sign though, guys. Holy crap. And I'm serious. I wish I could remember her name. You guys, be careful of stalkers. They're out to hurt people. They're out to steal, steal, sneak, cheat. Okay, they're holding on to heartbreak. They're out to cause, cause you problems. Okay, you definitely use your intuition, guys. You'll know who it is. You'll, you'll know. Be very careful. I'm not saying this to scare you guys, but after I heard that, it just it blew my mind. So. What's coming in? Positive energy, positive vibes. What's coming in for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius from now until January 31st? Yeah, you guys, somebody's going to get caught doing something sneaky. This could be theft or cheating. Oh, God. There's going to be conflict with this person. This is air energy. It may leave, yeah, it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, guys, sun, moon, or rising, maybe within your home, okay? They're out to hurt people with their words. They they leave, or Pisces, but it's all air here. And it's going to make someone feel stuck, okay? So be careful. Someone's going to get caught. Oh my god, they're going to get away with it. Within your home, watch your home, you guys. Okay, watch a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may be helping them. They may be, may be helping you. Watch out, guys. Okay, I'm serious. Alright, what's coming in for Sagittarius for love from now until January 31st? Spirit, positive. Positive vibes. Oh my god. Okay, so somebody definitely needs to take a break. Not... There may be a love offer that comes in that's not accepted. Somebody may see somebody make make a bad decision here. But look, coming out of anxiety, able to sleep at night again. Boom, two of cups, baby. Soulmate relationship. Why is the two of cups here for Sagittarius from now until January 31st? Why is the two of cups here? Okay, someone may walk away. Because of secrets. God damn it, guys. Or some of you may decide to push forward. See? Coming coming to reality again. Pushing forward. Moving forward victoriously. We've got the damn devil. Capricorn energies. Cancer. 
Pisces, Scorpio. There's something toxic here, guys, that needs to go. The damn devil again. Oh, guys. Alright, fuck. Please be very careful with who you're hanging around with and who you're letting in your home. Alright, positive guidance for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius from now until January 31st. Spirit, what do you want the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius to know? Yep, there it is again, you guys. Deception and envy. You've got the magician here. Boom, again. Who just got this? Movement, choices, and decisions, and accelerated motion. There's something quick, fast communication coming your way, okay? Something positive. You just gotta, you know, make a decision. I know it may be hard, but you gotta make a decision here. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aries because they just got this intuition, guys. I told you. Alright, let's start from the top. These are super important. They provide a lot of insight to your situation if this is ringing true for you. So we have new beginnings. The Fool. Could be an Aries, it doesn't have to be. It says, each and every journey begins with the all-important first step. When this card presents itself in your reading, it's confirming that it's time for you to take a brave leap of faith, but be prepared as you do so. This card represents that a great new adventure is awaiting you. It usually shows up when there's a significant inner change happening within you. By selecting this card, it's a sign that those... Important choices are needed and are about to be made and should be carefully pondered as you proceed with wisdom, thought, and care. Life is constantly trying to nudge and move you forward. At times, it can be daunting when you're faced with a new adventure or direction. Therefore, it calls for inner belief and courage as you take that leap of faith and step into the unknown. During this time, don't be alarmed if you feel lost or even confused. Most people are afraid of change and play it safe by staying where they are. Know that your inner guidance, wisdom, and a belief in yourself, and by tapping into these tools, you'll be propelled forward on a positive, life-changing path. Don't conform to what society or other individuals expect of you at this time. It's your own adventure. During this time, be like an innocent child with fresh eyes and give yourself permission to live, play, love, and above all, laugh. Super amazing energy, guys. And then intuition. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. It says, intuition is the language of the soul. When this card shows up in a reading, it's a clear message that it's time for you to use your intuition. Just give it a chance and you'll notice... You'll quickly notice how it might be trying to get your attention. With so much information in this world vying for your every thought, it's easy to ignore or fail to acknowledge your insights. Synchronicity, synchronicities and so-called coincidences are powerful signs that intuition is knocking on your door. Have you heard a phrase or saying repeated by more than one person today? Do you, the same numbers keep showing up in your life? Has someone mentioned the name of a specific individual whom you were just thinking of? These are all signs for you to pause, be open, and pay attention. This is a perfect time to seek the answers from within. Trust, turn inward, inward sorry, where you'll find the solutions and valuable insights that are waiting to assist you. When you learn to use and trust your intuition, you'll begin to have a sense of not only the right timing, but you'll also begin to perceive people and situations with a deeper and more discerning eye. You'll not only observe beneath and beyond what's actually in front of you, you'll see the real deal. Damn, guys. Damn. Okay, so the magician. This is crazy because you got zero one, zero one two, Rate and order. And then seven. That's <laughs> crazy, you guys. So that video, she was no joke. She was talking about Sagittarius, like your intuition is on point right now. Magician here. This card is one of the key reminders that you already possess all of the tools to guide and direct you in your life. Whether it's wisdom, intuition, psychic skill, creativity, self-motivation, love, willpower, psychic ability, 
or just pure courage. They're all a part of you. Once you learn to tap into and use them, you'll be amazed by the power and effect they can have. You have the ability to allow the universe to work in partnership with you. Together, you can manifest change, whatever the desire may be, and bring about a positive outcome. This card represents your ability to create your own reality, to set ideas into motion and watch them grow. This card is often drawn when you're ready to switch direction, start a new project, or change careers. Now is the time to use positive thoughts, visualizations, and affirmations as you veer away from negativity. Knowledge is power and can lead to success. By having faith, keeping your willpower strong and directed, and by tapping into the tools that you possess, as well as calling on the magic from the universe, you can accomplish anything and everything you set out to do. Damn, guys. You've got it. I know you do. Alright, seven. Deception and envy, guys. Be very careful. People may be envious of you. That may be why they're calling these, these readers to try to get revenge. Okay? So, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. This card comes at a time where an individuals or conditions aren't what they appear to be. How well do you really know the people around you? Are they telling you everything you need to know? In business, make sure you gather all the necessary information so that you're aware of and understand all of the facts before continuing. You've worked hard. Don't let others take from you. Sorry guys, video cut out like usual. So, let me go back. Make sure you have all the information so that you're aware of and understand all the facts before continuing. You've worked hard. Don't let others take from you what is rightly yours. Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. This card also represents a time of sudden and unexpected changes or when plans that you're undertaking may not turn out exactly the way you envisioned. Have a plan B as a fallback strategy to prevent future problems. Use this card as a reminder to be prepared. It's better to be safe than sorry, guys. That's what I've got for you, Sagittarius. Stay positive. Definitely sending you love. Tons of positivity your way, guys. Take care, guys.